Hi everyone. So, originally I was going to post a video in defense of a post that I had put on Facebook about a church that had hired two lesbians, um, married wives, that um, a church that hired them to be the senior pastors. But as I read through comments today, um, the day after the inauguration of our latest president, I find that there are more pressing matters, um, in my humble opinion, that need to be addressed. One is this. To have an opinion is one thing, but if your opinion hurts others, if your opinion marginalizes anyone, a minority, a majority, it doesn't make a difference. If you're marginalized and someone else's opinion is oppressing you, an actual oppressive, not offensive, there's a difference, but if someone's opinion actually limits your ability to live and to be happy, then that makes that opinion wrong, in my opinion. If you are silent and you don't speak up for those who can't, if you don't speak up for those who are marginalized, if you don't speak up for those who are oppressed, I hate to say it, but yeah, that makes you just as culpable as the person doing the oppressing. Evil wins when good men and women sit by and do nothing. Okay? So that's something that you have to consider. Another thing that is so important, in my opinion, is that despite whatever religion or creed or whatever faith you practice, if that faith teaches any kind of bigotry, you should reevaluate that faith. Dig deep into the roots of that faith. Do research. Don't just take blindly what your leaders have told you because they've been saying it for hundreds and hundreds of years or even thousands of years. Do research. Where, where does it say that a person can't just be? A person can't just live happily. You have to question. And to speak politically for a minute, it is our job to question authority. The government works for us. The President of the United States works for his citizens. We don't have to accept illegal rulings, inappropriate behavior, misogyny, xenophobia, bigotry. None of those things have to be accepted. We don't have to respect you. We don't even have to like you. The point is, you, as President of the United States, have to listen to our opinion. It's true, you may think you have the ultimate call, but there's a reason we have a system of checks and balances. It's so that we don't turn into a monarchy, an oligarchy. There's a reason we have these checks and balances in place. And if we, as citizens of this United States, if we feel that there is any kind of abuse in power or any kind of oppression that is completely unjustified, we have a right, nay, an obligation as people and members of this community of humans and this community of Americans, we have an obligation to speak up. You don't have to listen, but you do have to allow us that opportunity to speak up. Because this country was based and it was founded and our military dies for marches, for protests. During the Vietnam War, there were people who were protesting and 
it was horrible on the military people who were going over to Vietnam and they were fighting. They felt horrible. They came home to taunts and chants. But the point is, they went over there and they still will to this day tell you that they fought for our freedom to be able to protest. Okay? And that's something that we have to respect. I don't want to go into the military because that's a whole other issue. But the point is, I think it's our obligation as citizens to march on Washington if we feel like we need to. If you feel like your religion is being oppressed, it is your obligation to speak up. If you feel like you cannot safely speak up, then it is the obligation of those people who are around you, who are able to speak up, who have that privilege, it is their obligation to speak up for you. Because that's what being a decent human being is. That's what being a decent person in a community of humans, that is what being a good person is. You speak up for those who can't, or for those who don't feel safe. If a rape victim wants to come forward to the police, but they're terrified, and they want you to go with them and help, are you going to deny them? Are you going to say, no, you have to do it yourself? No. A decent human being says, I'll go with you. I will be your rock during this really hard time because you're not alone. That's what a decent human being is. A decent human being shows compassion. Okay? Compassion, not despising another person. So you can call me a snowflake. You can say I'm super sensitive. You know what? Sensitivity is a normal human aspect of feelings. You're going to have moments where you're sensitive. You're going to have moments where you're tough. And I can have a thick skin and still feel compassion and sensitivity towards my fellow man. That's it. That's all I had to say. Have a great day.